Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, thank you. Hey, everybody, welcome. Um, Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening, hi. <laughs> okay, um, let's begin. There we are. Okay, hey everybody, um, welcome to this uh, Advanced One course, okay, by uh, Inglés Corporativo and InsaForp. So um, let's begin. First of all, I have to introduce myself, that's me. Uh, as you can see in the picture, can, can you see the screen I'm sharing? Yes, I can. Okay. Yeah, great, thank you. Great, 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 great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, um, that's me. My name is Ivan Donyang, and uh, well, this is uh, this is me, right? Uh, I graduated, you know, uh, from university uh, with a degree of English teaching, and uh, well, there's a little bit of information about myself right here. But why am I speaking English right now? I'm supposed to speak Spanish in this section of the class because these are like uh, the instructions. Formación académica, licenciatura en idioma inglés, opción de enseñanza, y tengo también la didáctica y planificación del INSAFOR, cual me acredita, verdad, para enseñar estos cursos. Y he sido facilitador del idioma inglés desde el año 2005. We're going to speak Spanish just right now because I need to read this, okay? And, and of course, we, we need to make sure that this is perfectly clear. So, uh, here's a WhatsApp group. Okay, everybody, take a look. Um, everybody should be a member by now, but if you are not, okay, here's the link. And if you don't have the link, I can share it um, via, let me check. Where is it? Over here. I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to send it via chat here. So... That's a WhatsApp group in case you don't have it. So there's a group right there. And the group rules, okay, um, there are certain rules. The first one is always keep to the purpose of the group. What is the meaning of that? It means that the group has a very, very, very specific purpose. And what is that purpose? That means only academic matters and only that, okay? This is not a group to, to share, say, uh, reels, TikToks, or memes or anything else. Now, this is just for academic purposes, okay? So remember, if you are selling something, please don't put it in the group, okay? If you are buying something, don't put it in the group, okay, in WhatsApp, because that's not uh, what it is for, okay? So everybody always keep to the purpose of the group. Remember that, okay? And what is that purpose? purely academic, okay? So for example, if you have question about something that we studied in class, okay, you can send it via WhatsApp, of course. Um, and, and, and that's the idea, all right? I'm gonna be checking that, and then in class we can, you know, address your question. Uh, the second rule is be polite and respectful to each other. It goes without saying, of course, you are in a, in a in a sort of community right here. So that means that you have to be respectful to each other, okay? Sometimes you, you'll probably not agree with the point of view of a person, but that doesn't mean that you have to insult them or, you know, not show respect to them. You have to show respect to everybody. So always remember that, okay, in the group and also in class, you have to be polite and respectful to each other. And the last one right here is all questions will be answered during class. In other words, if you have a question about the class and you say, hey, teacher, listen, uh, I have a problem with exercise number four uh, from the platform. OK, I will not answer via WhatsApp. I will take note of that. And then in class, the next class could be the same day or the next day, I am going to address your doubts. OK, so I'm going to say like, OK, uh, I understand that somebody has a problem solving exercise number four. So we're going to do it right here. OK, so that's the idea. You can, of course, uh, ask questions via chat on WhatsApp. No problem. But I'm not going to be answering them directly there. I'm going to answer those questions in class for two reasons. Number one, it's much more practical. 
if I do it like that. And number two, well, that's a way for everybody to learn, okay? Um, and that way we can review the structure together or the vocabulary or whatever the exercise is about. So uh, those are the group rules. Let's continue, okay? This section is in Spanish, so I'm gonna read it in Spanish, okay? So, <laughs> tareas y evaluaciones. Es necesario obtener el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Okay, you know that. The Everything is in the platform and you are familiar with the platform. So what is that? It's exactly what I'm showing you in the screen right now. Uh, the platform, as you know, has different sections and uh, you have to um, complete all the exercises in those different sections. Always remember that there is first the lesson objective. So please read the lesson objective, then you click on next. Then you have, for example, this verse followed by gerunds. Okay, so what do you have to do? Well, there is a nice video here uh, with Miss Jessica explaining everything. Okay, so watch the video, watch it completely, please. And uh, then, you know, it will be taken as complete. If you don't watch the video, then the activity will not be completed. And that's going to affect your percentage of completion. So, and, and then you have the knowledge check. Okay, do the exercise. Uh, you can send the answer. Remember that the platform gives you more than one opportunity, okay, to do the exercises. So if you make a mistake, well, don't worry, you can correct it, okay? You can do the exercise one more time until you get it right and then you send it, okay? It gives you several ch chances. So uh, if you don't have it right the first time, just don't panic, just continue. Although I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. You have done this for a long time now and so on. So the thing is complete all the sections, okay, for every unit, okay? Uh, or all the subsections in every section so that you can get your uh, completion percentage. And that's what we're talking about here. It has to be the 80%. If you get 75%, mm, no, you can't pass. Okay, so make sure you complete the 80% of all the activities and evaluations. Second part, las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma y se recomienda trabajar en ellas justo después de cada clase, puede adelantar contenido. Okay, just as it is stated here, you can, I mean, work on those activities. And if you want to, you know, get ahead and continue working on something that we have not studied in class, you can do it, no problem. Actually, that's the idea. And as you know, uh, these courses are supposed to be uh, kind of like self-taught, okay? It's like some sort of uh, self uh, didactics program that we have here. And what we do in class is basically just some reinforcement of the content that you're studying by yourselves. So always remember, work on those exercises. And if you want to get ahead and work on something else, even if we are not there still in class, you can do it, no problem. Uh, next one is, todas las tareas y los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche ya que ese registro es enviado a Insaforp semanalmente. Okay, nothing new right here. You know that you have to complete everything. Uh, we have four weeks and four sections. That means that by Friday this week, section number one must be complete. Complete, totally complete. Okay. And... Uh, uh, remember, okay, work on that every day, okay, so that it doesn't accumulate. Next, material de apoyo será compartido a criterio del profesor en formato digital. Well, how are we going to do this? Often, and this is much my style, um, I have like some extra information on the topics that we're studying. For example, today, we're going to try to cover some grammar, and I'm also going to show you some extra material that is not in the platform, and that material is not... Uh, in the manual either. So what do I do? I share this with you via WhatsApp. So every time there is like some sort of information that you don't have in the manual or in the platform, I'm going to send it to you via WhatsApp in real time, right? We finished, there's a slide for example, and we finished that. So I'm going to take a screenshot and I'll send it immediately so that everybody can have the information. So this is the extra material that we're talking about here, all right? Before we continue, do you have any questions? Am I going too fast right now or something? Let me know. If you, if you have comments, please raise your hand. Any questions or, or comments so far? No question, teacher. No questions. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Um, 
So uh, this is what I was talking about. Okay, we have uh, uh, tareas y evaluaciones. Okay, so there's the first week we're going to complete section one, <laughs> and section and, and sec, uh, week two, week number two we're going to complete section number two and the midterm. Okay, remember there's always a midterm. I believe that in previous levels, okay, up to uh, pre-advanced three, I believe you've been uh, working on five units per level. Right, but starting on advanced, it's just four units. Okay, so week one, there's section one, right? Week two, section two, and midterm that you need to complete. And also, we're going to check that in class. Uh, section number three, sorry, on week number three, we have section three, and on week four, we have section four and the final exam. So it's, it's not like in the past that you had to cover section one and two on the first week. That's it's a lot of material to cover but this time um you're gonna have you're gonna relax a little bit more because it's, it's just one section per week so it's better i believe um we have this norma de convivencia okay so first one is uh the silent bottom remember if you are not participating in class in a specific moment remember to turn off your microphone okay if you want to speak then you turn on the microphone but once you finish please turn it off because if you don't turn it off, then I will hear all the background noise from your house. Probably someone in your house is watching TV. Someone is cooking right there. Maybe the dog is barking or uh, I don't know, the guy who sells bread is passing by in a bicycle. Okay. So um, if that's the, if, if you don't turn off or you don't deactivate, okay, your microphone, then all that noise blends into the class and it creates a complete you know, there's a lot of noise and it creates a lot of, uh, let's say, a chaotic situation, okay? And it's distracting. It's distracting to me and it's distracting to everybody else. So again, if uh, if you're not participating, just make sure the, the the microphone is deactivated, okay? So that's the first one. Um, the second one is, uh, everybody, I want you to, once you start your sessions on Zoom, uh, make sure that your whole name is showing, okay? Uh, if you only have like one name and one last name um, for InsaForb and also English Corporativo, that's not enough. So if possible, please, everybody, make sure that you appear with your full name. Your full name must be in display. Your two names and your two last names, if you have all those names, uh, please make sure that that's what's showing. Um, the camera is supposed to be on, okay? So if you do me that favor, and uh, I understand that there are certain situations in which uh, it, it is not possible to turn on the camera. And I know that, I'm aware, okay? So, but the thing is, if it is possible, please turn your camera on, okay? That's, that's not my rule. <laughs> it's not Inglés Corporativo's room. It's actually an INSA 4 rule. So if you can turn it on, that will be great, okay? Um, there are certain circumstances in which uh, you can say, for example, a teacher, for example, I'm, I'm not at home right now, so I only have my phone and my mobile data. In those cases, I will say like, okay, I understand. Okay, if you want, you can turn it off. But if you're in your house, you know, with Wi-Fi and everything, you can turn it on. I mean, next is uh, we need your active participation. Okay, that's, that's very, very, very important. And that means... Um, Try not to be someone who is only expect is only observing the class. Okay, try not to be someone who's only observing the class and and letting other people participate. No, the idea is for you to participate. We have like uh, there are twenty people registered in this course. So the thing is, I want to hear everybody. I want to know your voices. I want to know what you think. I want to know what you can produce in English. But if you don't produce, okay, it's difficult for me to, you know, assess your um, your performance, okay, and your development in the language. So just do me that favor, okay? When you have the opportunity to participate, please raise your hand and do it, all right? Speaking of which, this is another thing that's very, very, very important. You know that there is a button, okay, on, on Zoom, there's a button. It's, uh, I believe in, let's see. Um, well, I believe there are, let's see, what is that? Well, you know how to do it. The thing is that there is an option that allows you to uh, 
raise your hand. It's a digital hand, of course, a virtual hand. So every time you want to participate, just do me that favor, okay? Always, always, if you want to say something, you want to make a comment, you want to ask a question or anything, please first raise your virtual hand. That's it. Not on the camera because I can't see everybody on the screen at the same time. I'm telling you this because sometimes people do this. Uh huh. Yeah, Gab Gabriela is doing it right now. Okay, so that's exactly what I want you to do. Okay, raise your digital hand. Um, sorry, it's on the reaction. Uh, ah, okay. Reactions. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you. I'm not, the thing is that I'm not overly familiar with uh, the use of Zoom as a student, more as a teacher, but not as a student. But thank you, Gabriela. Thank you very much. So um, that's the thing, please. Everybody, uh, you, you raise your uh, virtual hand. And then I will see you on the screen, okay? If you turn on your camera and you're doing this physically, okay, uh, chances are I won't be able to see you. But if you raise your digital hand, I will, like Madeline, okay? Yes, Madeline? I'm trying. <laughs> oh, you're trying. Okay, good, good. Okay, it's, it's good. Yeah, that's what you have to do. Exactly. Now, uh, why is this important? Okay, it's important for, for a reason. Uh, number one, well, not number one, there's only one reason. The thing is, we have to keep um, the order here, okay? And uh, even participation has a specific order. Imagine that I ask a question and then say four people want to participate. So you start activating your digital hand. So I will see one, then two, three, four. And on the screen, it shows in the exact order in which you raise your digital hand. And that's good because it gives me an idea of who goes first, who goes next, and who goes last. That said, okay, uh, I always want you to raise the digital hand first because sometimes we have a habit of just activating the microphone and answering. I said like, okay, I have this question. Who knows the answer? And some people don't raise the hand. They just like speak and they finish. Okay. Um, it's okay for you to participate, of course, but but you have to respect the order, right? There were other people waiting for an opportunity to speak. So if if you don't if you don't respect that, okay, that's it's kind of frustrating. It's like going to to the supermarket. Imagine that you are in line, okay, waiting to pay, uh, and then someone gets in front of the line, okay. So it's kind of a similar situation. So let's try to avoid that. Always remember. Raise your hand if you want to participate, and I will give you a chance to participate. Uh, what's next? Um, always keep respect. This is what we talked about before. And uh, there is the attendance policies. Let's make this. Let me make sure that everything is. Yes, 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 yes. OK. So uh, here's the attendance uh, policies. OK, first. Uh, what I was talking about just a moment ago, complete all the exercises. That's absolutely necessary. Uh, the second one is duración de 60 minutos. All classes will be one hour long, sometimes a little bit longer, but never shorter. Okay. So it's 60 minutes guaranteed. Okay. That's a guarantee right now that you have right there. So, um, Never 59 minutes, never 58 minutes. It's always 60 minutes at least. And sometimes we will, we, will, we will do some exercises that will probably take like one, two, three, or even five minutes longer. When that's the case, uh, I apologize because sometimes that happens with me. Uh, but the thing is, uh, it's always at the very least 60 minutes, sometimes more, but never less. Okay. So... Another thing is, uh, cada clase queda grabada disponible. You know this, okay? Um, there is a list on YouTube that only you have access to, and uh, every class is, will be there. This class that we're having right now is being recorded, and I'm going to upload it at the end, so you can watch it later if you want, okay? Or in case, for some reason, you can't attend the class, or you cannot get online on time, and you, for example, miss the, the complete class or miss half the class, don't worry. You know, uh, it will always be online for you so you can watch it later, okay? So it, that's a good advantage. Um, well, it's it starts today on August the 28th, okay? 
Well, you know that. And the class is from 8 to 9 p.m. All right. Uh, sometimes we will begin probably one or two minutes before just to make sure that we finish uh, on time. And uh, on some occasions, if, if, for example, just to give you an idea, uh, I am a little bit late. And for example, we start like at 8.5, just to give you an idea. Then those five minutes, I will make up for those five minutes at the end of the class. Okay, so again, the class will always be 60 minutes. Of course, I'm just saying this in case this happens, but normally I'm on time, let me tell you. So again, uh, your camera should be on. So if, if, if you can turn on your camera, please. Let's do it. And of course, you need to work on the exercises right on the platform. At the end, you will get your diploma. And that's pretty much what we're going to be doing for this level. Before we start with the contents, uh, do you have any questions? Again, my name is uh, Ivan. OK, you can you can call me teacher. You can call me Ivan if you want. No problem. And uh, I'll be the person in charge of this group. So everybody. Nice to meet you. Uh, before we continue, do you have any questions or comments or anything? Gabriela? Thank you. Yes, I have a question. Um, mm -hmm. you, you talk about the, the um, assistance and, and homework will equivalent, equivalent to 80% of the course to be able to pass it. Mm -hmm. But what about our uh, scores? The score. Um, oh. It's a, it's about, I believe it's, it's a combination of both. I mean, it's uh you have to complete 80% of it. And also the score has to be above 80. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's why I was telling you before, if you, for example, in the exercises, don't get the right answer. Don't panic. <laughs> you can repeat the exercise until you get a good grade. Although I'm not really sure if there is a limit of attempts, okay? Um, I understand that there isn't, but there was one course in which one student told me that they had attempted it like several times and in the end, he couldn't do it again. But I've never seen that, to be honest. I don't know if if, if, if it is like a, a feature of the platform or if uh, or if, if that student got an error for some reason, But but yeah. The thing is, uh, try to complete everything and do it best you can, and you should be all right. Uh, someone else was raising the hand, I believe, was Madeline. Madeline? Yes, hi, good night. Hi, good evening. So, evening, I'm sorry. It's okay. So, I have a question. I would like to do the first ex exercise on platform mm -hmm. because I was troubled with all the exercise. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. So I would like to do it. Okay, no problem. We'll get to that. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. We'll get to that. Uh, we're, uh, we're going to go through all the exercises in the platform. So don't worry about that. Okay. All right. So um, another thing that's absolutely necessary is the attendance, as you know. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna call attendance right now. When you hear your name, please let me know you're here. Okay, I'll be calling attendance at the beginning of the class and also at the end. So um, is uh, Ana Cecilia Rodriguez de Perez here? Present teacher. Thank you. Byron Rafael Avelar Aquino. Present teacher. Welcome. Carlos Roberto Dominguez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Cristina Abigail Quintanilla Amador. Cristina Abigail. Okay, uh, Damaris Merari Marroquín Rivas. Present teacher. Welcome. Daisy Magdalena Hernández Hernández. Daisy Magdalena Hernández Hernández. Elisa Arely López Campos. Elisa. Present. Ah, okay. Welcome, Elisa. Um, Elizabeth del Carmen Mejía Torres. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Nice well, to meet you. Nice, meet, nice to meet you, too. Uh, Elmer Mauricio Salas Rojas. I'm here, teacher. Okay, welcome. Good. Erika Maricela Morales Cordero. 
Erika Maricela Morales Cordero. Gabriel Antonio Nájera Martel. I'm, I'm sorry. I think I heard the voice. Gabriel. I'm here. Ah, okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, Gabriela Alejandra Aceituno Ayala. Gabriela Alejandra Aceituno Ayala. Gabriela. Okay, now this is a name I don't know how to pronounce. How do you pronounce this uh, Bernal? But uh, then you have the second the second name. How do you pronounce this? Gabriela Se Sequeira. Sequeira, right? No. Can, can you repeat it, please? Lore. Lore. Sequeira. Okay. Lore. Lore. Is that okay? Gabriela Lore Perfect. Sequeira. Bernal. Okay. All right. Thank you, Gabriela. Uh, Juan Eduardo Moral Rodriguez. Present. Okay. Welcome, Juan. Uh, Madeline Diana Serón de Paz. Present. Okay. Welcome, Madeline. Miguel Arsenio Alas Crespin. Present, teacher. Welcome. Uh, Rufino Amilcar Hernández Linares. Presente. Okay, welcome, Rufino. Present, Sandra, teacher. okay, welcome, welcome. We have uh, Sandra Janet Vasquez Cortez. I'm here. Okay, welcome. Saúl Arnulfo Mengibar Crespin. Present teacher, I'm here. Okay, welcome. And Wendy Carolina Calderón de Aparicio. Present. Okay, welcome, Wendy. Um, is there anybody I didn't mention? No? Okay, just calling names one more time. Calling your names one more time, I'm sorry. Uh, just in case someone has joined the meeting in the meantime. Cristina Abigail Quintanilla Amador. Doesn't seem to be here yet. Daisy Magdalena Hernandez Hernandez. Mm, not yet. Uh, Erika Maricela Morales Cordero. Erika Maricela Morales Cordero. Gabriela Alejandra Aceituno Ayala. Not yet. Okay, maybe we'll, they'll join us eventually. Okay, so remember that um, at the end of the class, I'm going to call the names again. All right, so let's let's do this, everybody. Um, we've been through this, so it's time for us to start the class. We don't have much time. We only have like half an hour now. So um, everybody, welcome. This is Advanced English. Uh, first module, okay, and that's me, Ivan Doñang, at your service, once again, and this is session number one, today's August the 28th of 2023, so everybody, be welcome to this class. So uh, we have section number one, which is unit number one from this new material, and that's friends and family, okay, that's the name of that, and first we have uh, a, a kind of quiz, okay, it's a personality survey, okay, lesson A, what kind of person are you? Okay, before we do this exercise, I need a volunteer and I want you to tell me what kind of person are you? Can you like give me um, a description of who you are in terms of your personality and the things that you like, the things that you don't like? That would be great to hear a volunteer. I want I want a volunteer. It's, it's not about your family. Remember, not say like I have three brothers four sisters and a dog. No, 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 nothing like that. I, I want to know you in terms of personality, okay? What you are like and the things that you like, the things that you don't like. Who wants to try? A volunteer. Should I do it first? Okay. Okay, I, I think I'm going to do it first. Okay. Um, well, I'm, uh, I don't know. Okay, first of all, I, and I know this has nothing to do with, uh, with personality, but I'm 38 years old. Um, I am a very curious person. Uh, I like to read. Um, I like to play the guitar, although I'm not good at it. I like drawing. Okay, that's another thing that I enjoy. Um, I really like uh, rock music, and, and I also like classical music and new age music and some sort of independent music. Um, I am uh, the kind of person who doesn't like to ask for help to do things, okay? If I can find a solution by myself, then I do it. Um, 
I don't usually go out. I prefer to stay home with my family. Um, and uh, I, I can be very clean and at the same time, very disorganized. Um, but in general, I like when things are uh, organized. And um, I don't know what else to say. I enjoy watching movies and, and uh, not really sure what else. <laughs> That's me. I'm I'm not very interesting, I know. So um well that, that was an example. So I, I need a volunteer. Uh who wants to try? Can you tell me wh what kind of person are you? Volunteer. Active participation, remember. Madeline. Okay, Madeline. I would like to try. Okay, great. Well, I'm Madeline Zeron, so I'm 26 years old and a very easy going. <laughs> and I'm a really relaxing person. So because I really enjoy to spend time with my family and my friends, mm -hmm. I'm a very friendly person and I'm a little curious. Why? Because I love to learn new things and my in my life because I know it is important nowadays to to improve your your skills so mm -hmm. and uh, sometimes I enjoy to go out with my friends but you know I really love to stay at home with my family okay that's it Okay, thank you. Thank you, Madeline. Very good. All right, so that, that's great. Okay, that's some active participation. One more person. Saul Arnulfo. Okay, Saul. Uh, can you hear me, teacher? Yes, I can hear you, but I can see you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I'm a little sick. Uh, okay, I, no. have, I have flu. Sorry. Okay, no problem, no problem. Okay, well, so... In my case, I think that I'm a happy person. Uh, I like to travel to another place and, and also uh, I like to spend time with my family and mm -hmm. meet a new person. Mm -hmm. And also uh, I like to listen music in the night. Uh, I like to to read book, etc. Okay. And, I'm happy, and I am happy to be here. I think that I'm going to learn uh, different things. Okay, great. That's the idea. Okay. Thank you very much, Saul. Okay. Thanks for your participation. Very good. Okay. Uh, always remember your participations are welcome. If you feel like participating or saying something, just remember, just raise your hand and I will always give you an opportunity. Okay. All right. So what do we have right here? It's the first uh, activity, section A. What kind of person are you? This is the starting point. Okay. It's not the first activity in the platform, but it's included in the manual. So I believe it's important to at least take a look at it. Okay, so there's a personality survey. Okay, so do you agree with these statements? Complete the survey. Okay, so um, let's see. Uh, the three possible answers are definitely agreed. That's an absolutely, absolute yes, I'm sorry. Somewhat agree is like, yeah, so-so. And definitely disagree is definitely no. Okay, so um, let's see. Volunteer to read number one. I want you to read it, and I want you to tell me what option you choose. Okay, who wants to read number one? You only need to read and give me uh, an option. Wendy, and then Saul. Okay, and then Gabriel. Okay, Wendy, you begin. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Here is it. I'm not afraid of giving speeches in front of the class. So what's your case? I'm definitely, def definitely agree. Definitely agree. Okay, so if you yeah. have like an oral presentation or something, you do it, no problem. I can do it, yeah. Okay, great, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, will, I will also definitely agree, but in my case, I have to. I'm a teacher, so <laughs> that's what I do for a living. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not afraid of giving speeches in front of the class. It's, it's my everyday thing. Thank you, Wendy. Okay, uh, Saul Arnulfo, uh, please read number two and, and, and give us your answer. Okay, the second one. I enjoy going to the parties where I don't know everyone. Well, in my case, I'm definitely a week. 
You definitely agree. Okay. All right. You definitely agree. All right. Uh, in my case, I will say definitely disagree. <laughs> I don't like it when I go to places and I don't know the people. I feel like it feels weird. But in my case, particular case. Thank you, uh, Saul. Gabriel Antonio and then Byron Rafael. Number three, Gabriel. Hi, good evening. Uh, good evening. The number three says, I avoid expressing my feelings and ideas in public. Uh, my answer would be somewhat agree. Somewhat agree, okay. You avoid expressing uh, your ideas and feelings in public. Sorry, feelings and ideas in public. I will say um, somewhat agree because I like to express my ideas, but not my feelings, okay, in my case. Like I, I like when people know what I think, but I don't like them to know what I feel about those things. Thank you. Okay, uh, we'll continue with um, Byron, and then uh, Saul, I believe, wants to participate too. Okay, I insist on making my own decisions. For me, I definitely agree. Definitely agree. Okay, I insist on making my own decisions. I also definitely agree, but in my case, I'm married, so it's kind of difficult. <laughs> you have to you have to consult your wife, okay? So, um, but yeah, I, I will say in this case, somewhat agree, okay? When you're single, it's possible. When you get married, it's uh, it's like fifty fifty, okay? So, uh, what about number five? Who wants to try? Let's participate. Raise your hand if you want to to participate and read. Number five, come on. He don't leave me hanging here. Carlos Dominguez. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Um, number five. Number five. Yes. I don't mean giving up of my time to help other people. In my case, uh, um, sometimes I agree. Somewhat agree. Okay. Somewhat agree. Yeah. Okay. All right. Just one thing here. Uh, the pronunciation. It's I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't okay. mind, which means um, I have no problem. Okay. That's the meaning of that. When you say I don't mind giving up my time to help other people, it's like I have no problem. You know, uh, spending my time helping other people. I can do it. All right. Uh, somewhat agree in your case. Yeah, also in my case, because I'm usually very tired, but yeah. Okay, thank you very much. What about number six? Who can help me with number six? Ana Cecilia. And then Gabriela. Okay, Ana Cecilia, number six. Gabriela, number seven. Ana Cecilia, I believe you need to activate your microphone. Uh, okay, oh. excuse me. It's okay. I never worry about getting place of time. Mm -hmm. Definitely disagree. Definitely disagree. Okay, so for you, punctuality is very important. Okay. All right. Yeah, I will also definitely disagree. Yeah, I don't like to be late. Okay, I hate to be late. Okay, um, thank you, Ana Cecilia. Now, Gabriela Sequeira, number seven. I always feel like going dancing. Well, I'm agree with that. I consider myself a very happy person, and mm -hmm. almost uh, all the time, I'm always listening music. So mm -hmm. sometimes I. I feel like I'm dancing. Okay. So you love to dance. Okay. <laughs> All right. Nice. In my case, it's uh, quite the opposite. In my case, I will definitely disagree. I I'm not a dancer. I don't like it. <laughs> but okay. Everybody's different. Thank you for your participation. Very good. Number eight and number nine. We have uh, Wells. Number eight and nine. Who can help us? Nobody wants to participate anymore. Well, if you have participated, you can you can do it again, no problem. Okay, so if you want to like uh, give it another try, go ahead. 
number eight. Madeline. Okay, Madeline. I can't stand being in a messy, disorganized room. Um, somewhat agree. Somewhat because, agree. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, because yes, I'm an organized person, but mm. in my in my bedroom, it's the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> For that reason. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Now, uh, in the past, I used to be, well, I was very, very disorganized in the past, especially when I was a teenager and my room was a complete mess. But once I grew older, okay, and became an adult and, and, and a parent and everything, now uh, organization is very important to me. It's like if, if I see the room and it's uh, a complete mess, I feel terrible. I'm like, no, oh, I, I can't do this. I can't work here. I have to do something about it. So I start, you know, trying to tidy up everything I can. Okay, thank you uh, very much. Number nine, the last one. I'm going to read it, okay? It's, I prefer telling people how I feel, even if it's embarrassing. I will say definitely disagree, okay, in my case, okay? Um, no. No. If it's something embarrassing, I will not share it, okay? I will just, like, keep it to myself. That's me. So uh, before we continue, do you have any questions about the vocabulary in this uh, personality survey? Any questions about the vocabulary or the expressions? Anything that is not completely, entirely clear? No questions? Madeline? Yes, I have a question. I don't mind. It's a phrase, phrasal verb or, or no? It's, it's it's not a phrasal <laughs> verb, but uh, to mind something is uh, to pay attention to it uh, to the degree that it affects you or not. So when you say I don't mind, that means it doesn't bother me, it doesn't affect me, or I have no problem with it. That's the meaning of it's that. Like, it's like an idiom or an, uh, or an expression. Neither. It's, it's neither an idiom or an expression. It's, it's the verb mind. Mm -hmm. So the verb oh. mind in, in this case uh, has that meaning, right? When, when something uh, affects you to some level, okay, you mind. Okay. So when you Thank say, I don't mind. Uh-huh. I don't mind means uh, it doesn't affect me or I have no problem with that. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Any other questions? No more questions? Okay, then moving on. What are we going to do here? Okay, how would you describe yourself? Okay, now, uh, this is a second exercise. Which statement from the survey about best matches? Sorry, which statement from the survey above, which is this survey, and it's also here. In this case, it should be like the, the survey below. Uh, best matches these personality traits. Write the correct number, then compare answers with the partner. For example, friendly and outgoing is number two, because number two is I enjoy going to parties where I don't know everyone. So that's a friendly and outgoing person. Okay, friendly and outgoing is like fr friendly and sociable. So uh, that... Uh, we can say uh, that matches, okay, uh, the personality traits number two. What about B, strong and independent? Which one would that be? If you know the answer, please raise your hand. Strong and independent. Mm -hmm. About letter B. Wendy. Will be number four. Number four. That is absolutely right. Okay. It is number four. Strong and independent. I insist on making my own decisions. Okay. Thank you, Wendy. That's good. What about number, uh, sorry, letter C, laid back and relaxed. How about that one? Laid back and relaxed. Elizabeth. It's number six. Number six. That is correct. Okay. I never worry about getting places on time. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you, Lisa. What about letter D, kind and generous? Madeline. I guess it's number five. It is number five. Yeah. I don't mind giving up my time to help other people. 
exactly. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, letter E, honest and sincere. How about this one? Honest and sincere. If you know the answer, please raise your virtual hand so you can participate. Elizabeth. Um, if number nine. Number nine, that's correct. Honest and sincere. Number nine, I prefer telling people how I feel even if it's embarrassing. Okay, thank you. Uh, letter F, shy and reserved. About this one, shy and reserved. Gabriel Antonio, Najera, Martel. Yes, it's going to be uh, number three. Number three, yeah, correct. I avoid expressing my feelings and ideas in public because you're shy and reserved. Thank you, Gabriel. Uh, letter G, wild and crazy. Maybe it's an exaggeration, you know, wild and crazy, but okay. Um, which one matches these personality traits? Nope. <laughs> Gabriel. Could you repeat that, please? Uh, it's number seven. It's number seven. Okay, cool. Wild and crazy. Yeah, it's number seven. Okay, great, great. Thank you. Um, letter H, calm, calm and cool. How about this one? Calm and cool. There's only two options left. Okay, Byron, Rafael. It's number one. Number one, correct. That's cal calm and cool. Very good. It's I'm not afraid of giving speeches in front of the class. Good. And the last one, quite obviously, is number eight. Neat and tidy. Number eight, I can't stand being in a messy, disorganized room. When you can't stand something, it's like, no, 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 absolutely not. Okay? You hate something when you can't stand something. Okay, great. Well, good, we completed the second exercise. Uh, moving on, okay. Some, um, well, because of the time, probably we're gonna skip this part, okay. Uh, lesson objective. Now we have the first lesson objective. At the end of this class, participants will be able to use verbs followed by gerunds and infinitives, okay. We're only going to begin uh, studying this because this topic is kind of big. Thing is, uh, the explanation given in the material is a, a little bit too short, if you ask me, okay? So we're gonna try to expand on it. So uh, verbs followed by gerunds. Now, what are gerunds? Gerunds are the nominal form of a verb. And the nominal form of a verb is the ing form, okay? Now, you have to be careful because w when you do this, there are two words basically that finish in ing form. One is, the gerund and the other one is the present participle and there's some other form which is a participle adjective all those words and in ing okay but we're going to focus on gerunds right now so use the gerund i'm going to zoom in use the gerund form after these verbs after the verb enjoy for example if you're going to use a verb you have to use the gerund form in other words ing i enjoy going to parties where i don't know everyone okay Avoid, avoid is another verb, okay, that is followed by ing forms. So I avoid expressing my feelings and ideas in public, okay? And don't mind, that's another one, okay? I don't mind giving up my time to help other people. So after the verb enjoy, avoid, and don't mind, remember the next verb should be in gerund form. It works as a noun because it's the nominal form of a verb. So always remember, enjoy. Then if you ask yourself the question, enjoy what? Enjoy to go? No, that will be incorrect. Okay. Enjoy go? No, that's incorrect. You have to use the ing form. I enjoy going to parties. I enjoy uh, singing in the shower. I enjoy cooking. I enjoy uh I don't know, working, et cetera, et cetera, right? That's the thing. I avoid expressing my feelings and ideas in public. You avoid doing something. For example, I avoid uh, going to going to the beach, for example. I don't like it for some reason. Okay, so 
I avoid, uh, let's see, taking calls from unknown numbers. Okay, those are examples of it. After avoid, you have to use the gerund form, the ing form. I don't mind giving up my time to help other people. Okay, which means I have no problem with that. I'm okay with that. So I can say, for example, I don't mind cleaning the house. Okay, I know that to some people cleaning the house is uh, it's just horrible. But in my case, I'm always like, okay, if I have to do it, I have to do it. Okay. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not, not sorry. I'm not going to say that I like absolutely enjoy it. No, I'd prefer to rest, but I don't mind doing it. Okay. If, if it is necessary and it's my house, I mean, why not? So I don't mind giving up my time. I don't mind, you know, cleaning the house. I don't mind, uh, you know, working late at night. So that's the thing. Now, um, if you take a look at the second part, you use the gerund or infinitive form after these verbs. There are certain verbs that allow the gerund form and the two infinitive form. Verbs like can stand. Can stand is when you really don't like something, when you hate something. Oh my God. So this person says, I can't stand being in a messy room. It's like when you say no soporto, right? I can't stand being in a messy room. But you can also say, I can't stand to be in a messy room, okay? So can stand can be followed by a gerund or a two infinitive form, okay? Love, that's another one. I love taking my friends to cool new cafes or I love to take my friends to cool new cafes. Both options are acceptable, okay? Then you have the opposite of love, hate. I hate getting up for early morning classes, or I hate to get up for early morning classes. Okay, so which one is correct? The answer is both are correct. You can use either form. Okay, so after can't stand, love, and hate, you can use either a gerund form or a two infinitive form. Okay, and the meaning pretty much stays the same. Finally, we have this piece of information. You use the gerund form after these expressions containing prepositions, okay? As a general rule, if you're going to use an action or a verb after a preposition, then you have to use the ing form of that verb, okay? Examples, I insist on making my own decisions. Making, it comes after the preposition on. Preposition, remember, verb in ing. Preposition, gerund. So I insist on making my own decisions. I always feel like going acting. Okay, it says acting, which was dancing. But yeah, I always feel like going acting. Like is another preposition. Okay, like is a preposition. So the verb that follows is in ing form. I am into going out to new foreign restaurants. By the way, when you use that expression, are you familiar with it? And you say, uh, I mean, to something or doing something. Wait. There's a notepad. Okay. When you say, I'm into something, that means I like. That's the idea. Okay. I'm into something. I like doing something. It's the same thing. So uh, I'm into going to new foreign restaurants means I like, you know, going out to new foreign restaurants. And that's the idea. Those are the verbs followed by gerunds. Again, remember that after certain verbs, you can only use the gerund form. After prepositions, you use the gerund form. And there are certain verbs like can stand, love, and hate that can take either the gerund form or the two infinitive form. Now, because I am aware that this information is probably not enough, okay, there is a little bit more uh, that I have for you. But before that, before we go into that, and because we only have about five minutes now, uh, we're going to solve this exercise right here, okay? And also because we just read the survey, okay, it's a good idea to do it now. Look at the starting point on page number two again, which is not necessary because I'm showing it on the screen. Can you find other expressions that are followed by gerunds? 
which of them can also be followed by infinitives, okay? So uh, number one, I'm not afraid of giving speeches in front of the class. For example, here you have afraid of giving, okay? I'm not afraid of giving. Well, in this case, it's like, let's see, afraid of giving. I will say only of giving. Sorry about that. Of giving because preposition, okay? And then uh, verb in ing. That's the idea. Okay, so what about number two? I enjoy going to parties where I don't know everyone. What about this case? If you know, raise your hand. You have to find the expressions that are followed by gerunds. Mm -hmm. How about number two? I enjoy going. Okay, who said that? Saul. Okay, thank you, Saul. I enjoy going. Enjoy going, right? That's it. Enjoy going. Thank you very much. But always remember, raise your digital hand. Okay, your your uh, virtual hand right there. I enjoy going to parties where I don't know everyone. Yeah, enjoy going. After the verb enjoy, you use the gerund form. Okay, Python, number three. I avoid expressing my feelings and ideas. Avoid expressing. Avoid expressing. That's correct. Okay. After the verb avoid, you use the ing form. Elmer Mauricio and then Gabriel Antonio. Number four, Elmer. On making. I insist on making my own decisions. Okay, good. Although in this case, you have the whole verb insist on, okay, which works as a phrasal verb. I insist on making my own decisions. Okay, very good. Especially because on is a preposition. So after prepositions, you have to use gerund forms. Thank you. Uh, Gabriel Antonio, number five. I don't mind giving up my time to help other people. I'm sorry? Don't mind giving up. Okay, yeah, that's right. Don't mind giving up. I think you're going to have to get a microphone, my friend. <laughs> it's a bit difficult to understand what you say. Okay. Uh, I don't mind giving up my time to help other people. That's correct. Thank you, uh, Gabriel. Number six, I never worry about getting places on time. About this one, if you know, please raise your hand. If you have the answer, you can you can participate. Saul Arnulfo. Okay, uh, I never worry about getting places on time. In this case, about the preposition in getting the gerund. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, worry about getting, right? Yeah. It's wor worry, worry about getting. Okay, there's a verb worry, worry about. Okay, it's phrasal verb, worry about, and then getting. About is a preposition. So yeah, just as you explained, uh, the next verb, getting, should be in ing form. Okay, great. Thank you, Saul. What about number seven? I always feel like going dancing. How about this one? Raise your hand if you know. Ana Cecilia, and then Gabriel. The seven is going dancing. Going dancing, okay. Um, actually, it's a bit different, okay? You have to like go back a few words. We're, we're, we're very close right there, okay? Uh, let's see what Gabriel has to say about it. Well, in that case, uh, uh, the light uh, the proposition mm -hmm. is gerunds. It's a gerunds. I always feel like going to dance. Yeah. Feel like going, okay. Exactly. Feel like doing something. By the way, uh, when you say that, feel like doing, sorry, something, okay, that means when you say, I feel like doing something, that means I want to, oh, let's see. It's the same idea. If you say, I feel like uh, playing video games. That means I want to play video games, okay? I feel like going to the movies. That means I want to go to the movies. Mm -hmm. but because in this case, you have the... Uh, preposition like then uh, as, as Gabriel was explaining yeah you have to use the ing form gerund form okay 
time is it? Oh, it's nine. Okay, we have to finish. Uh, number eight. Who wants to try number eight? I can't stand being in a messy, disorganized room. Who can help me with that one? Madeline. A stand being. Mm -hmm. It's actually can't stand being. Yeah. I can't stand being in a messy, disorganized room. Okay. This one can be followed by two infinitives too. I can't stand to be is also possible. But thank you. Number nine. I prefer telling people how I feel, even if it's embarrassing. How about this one? Uh, Profino. Prefer, prefer telling? I prefer telling. Okay. Prefer telling people how prefer I feel, telling. even if it's embarrassing. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, listen, we're going to stop right here, but first I need to uh, call the names of those who haven't responded. Maybe they have joined the class in these minutes. Uh, Saul, do you have a question? Not this year. No. Yes. You, your hand is up. <laughs> okay, thank you. All right, so um, Cristina Abigail Quintanilla Amador. Is Cristina here with us tonight? No? All right, then. Daisy Magdalena Hernandez Hernandez. Is Daisy present? Is Daisy online with us tonight? No. Uh, Erika Maricela Morales Cordero. Erika Maricela Morales Cordero. Is she here? Probably not. Gabriela Alejandra Aceituno Ayala. Is Gabriela Alejandra Aceituno online tonight? Probably not. Okay. Everybody, um, well, I just have to thank you. Okay, thank you for this uh, first sec se session, uh, in this advanced course. Um, and uh, I have enjoyed it. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope I'm not speaking too fast because sometimes I tend to speak kind of fast. People tell me sometimes, okay. Um, and always remember, if there's something that, that you don't understand or you want me to repeat, you can always raise your hand and, and you let me know, okay? Tomorrow, we're going to go uh, with some extra information that I have right here, okay, on this, the same topic, but this is for tomorrow. Um, and, um, and, and well, thank you, okay? If you don't have any questions or comments, okay, that will be it. Good night, and I will see you tomorrow. Nice Good night, to meet teacher. You. Thank you, teacher. Good night, Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.